God has new territory for you to occupy. Can you say amen? The reason why we don't enlarge is because we are afraid of failure. True or not true? God will never send you somewhere without your provision. Why don't you believe the report of the Lord? We have learned a lot about the ground. I think it is a whole month down the line. And we may not be able to go back to everything we have learned, but it is on record. And we said that the ground has got a belly. It can swallow. And last week we prayed against anything of ours that the ground or the earth has swallowed. We said it has a mouth, it can vomit, and we supported it to the book of Job. And we prayed that whatever the ground has swallowed should be vomited. The ground can be well watered and the ground can be dry. We, I think I'll not uh, want to go back all that way. We talked about Satan was cast to the ground, Job 28.9. The, the, the ground can bring you bread and wealth, riches. So everybody is an equal partaker of what God has given as long as you are in this ground. The question is on how to work out the ground. As long as you know how to work out the ground, everything will work together for your good. You can command favor by commanding the ground. Your ground can open up for you favor. Your ground in praise, Psalm 67, and I wish that everybody could understand that when you go before God in praise, the earth begins to yield its increase. The more you give to God, then God gives you increase from the earth. All it takes, the greatest, the quickest, and one of the sure way is to give God his praise. The Bible says, and the earth shall yield its increase. And God, even our God, shall bless us. And this shall he do right early. So when you give praises, God in return, because he feeds on our praises, on return he gives you what you need to feed on. Are we together? You feed God with your praises. He gives you what you want to feed on. And that's why young people from now, when praise is happening, nobody should be seated down. You need the ground to feed you. I'm talking from the young. I'm talking to the entire church. Why? The more you praise God, the more you feed him with the very song that he so loves. It is praise. God can do everything, but he cannot praise himself. That's why he created man. Why? So that we can bless him. And David knew the secret. He said, bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Who does what? Psalms 103. Who fills your mouth with good things? Who renews your youth as the eagles who heals you of all your iniquities he continued to count all number one it will take let me tell you my brother my sister it will take your mouth to constantly have the high praises of jehovah your mouth should constantly have the high praises of jehovah not necessarily here this is an expression. But even when you are alone, you may not be a good singer. It is people who decided you don't sing well. Who told you? Did God tell you don't sing well? You need to give your praises. You know when I was coming here, I had a song in my heart. And it was, I, I, I even... My heart does magnify the Lord. My heart does magnify the Lord. 
and my praises are for him forevermore. That even though he was put in the grave, even in the grave, he was still king. He resurrected. Church, the more you bless him, the more he feeds you. Simple as that. Your wealth is equal to your praise bank. And not singing, praising him from, his, from your heart. You need to know, David said, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and everything that is within me. At times it is disappointment. At times it is this, it is the other. Just praise him anyhow. Glory to God. Praise him anyhow. Now, we, uh, uh, that wasn't my topic. However, the ground will always respond to praises. The ground will always. That one, it's not, it's a sure, that one is a sure bet. It is a sure bet that whether I hear good or bad news, I will choose to praise him. When I choose to praise him, the situation will change. Why? He inhabits the praises of his people. When he comes to inhabit my praises, he does not come empty. He comes with what my soul needed. Glory to God. He comes with a bag. He's a good, good father. We have never understood him as a father. He never comes empty-handed. No, he's not like that. You can, your father cannot visit you empty-handed. And you can call him the big, big-breasted God, El Shaddai. That is the one who feeds you. When he comes, he comes to feed you with what your heart desired. All it takes is to give him what his heart desired. Then your ground begins to give its increase. Hallelujah. From today, I want you to understand and constantly remember this. It is your responsibility. Don't blame your life on your family of origin. Don't blame it on not having education. Don't blame the status of your life on the fact that you know your parents didn't love you. Take responsibility. Glory to God. And I say the ground is what, whatever God has given you for your hands. Amen. When they talked in the Old Testament, their ground, because they used to take care of their sheep, their goat and everything. But today... I want you to understand your business is your ground. And that business or career should give you favor and increase because at the end of the day, anything and everything is planted on this earth. True or not true? Anything and everything. And I'll not go back. Today, I, and, and we talked about C in the book of Joshua. C, I've given you. I'm just recapping. We say there's a difference between looking and seeing. When you begin to see, you see with prophetic eyes. You begin to see your future with prophetic eyes. See, I've given you. I see, I've given you. And you have gone through that for so long. And we talked and that is it. Today I want us to go to another part of the ground. You know, the more I read the scripture, the more I realize you can never exhaust the word of God. As long as you are searching the word of God here, you can never exhaust it. You will think I've taught everything about the ground. Now I leave any to put a pause because I discovered, hey, yeah, every revelation the Lord keeps giving me can now take me to minister like a holy year on the ground, of which I want to do in case you're worried. Hey, hey, I follow ground. Jeremiah 4 and verse 3. Fallow ground. These are the grounds in your life that you have not yet worked on. What do I mean? God is calling us to start plowing your fallow grounds. Most of us tulifika pahali tukaridhika na tukatosheka. Na tukaona ni kama tumefika. Hatujafika God has new territory for you to occupy. Can you say amen? So one thing I want you to understand, where you are to God be the glory. But there is still a higher place to go. 
there is still a wider place to occupy. We are told to be contented in the Lord in every stage, but not to remain at the same stage. Why? He tells us it's from glory to glory. For thus saith the Lord to, uh, to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Judah is praise, Jerusalem is the house, Jeru is bread, Salem means peace, uh, bread of, uh, house of bread, Yes. Break up your fallow grounds and sow not among thorns. These are believers. Praise us, house of Judah. We are here. We have the bread of life. God is telling you in your spiritual life, in your career, in your business, in your anything, there is still a ground, haujaguza. The difference between me, you, us, and the people who have grown further than you in the Lord is because they decided to dig their fallow ground. And you decided this is it. And there are people who are bold and daring and that's what God is calling us to. Hallelujah. I want us to go through a small Bible study and then in the book of uh, Numbers chapter 13, we are going to see a people who had a fallow ground and how they reacted. Anytime opportunity, opportunity arises, fallow ground is opportunities. Anytime opportunities arise, people take them differently. There are people who say, I can do it. There are some who look for the problem in the opportunity. Am I tell you, talking to somebody who look for the problem and failure in the opportunity because they don't want to try. And those ones, even if you lay hands on them to break through, it is impossible. Because God breaks through via opportunity. Amen. Divine opportunity. I want us to see these men. There was Caleb. I want to give you like, uh, so that I can get to teach. There was Caleb. There was Joshua. It's at the time of Moses. They were all a total of 12 spies. They had been promised the land of Canaan. I want to give you an overview. They had been promised the land of Canaan. How many people know that story? Good. How many brought a good report? How many people brought a good report? Yes, I can see him saying two. Yes. How many people brought a scaring and a bad report? Ten. There were 12 spies. Each was representing the tribes of Israel. And they were told, go and spy that land, Numbers 13 and 14. When you go home like the men of Berea, go and read it, but I'll be touching a lot of scriptures. They were told by Moses, God had already told Moses, that is your land. That is actually your promised land. It is flowing with milk and honey. It was the promise. God spoke to you and told you you need to do a certain business and deep in your heart you know. That is a promise. So he sent 12 spies and he told them, you know what? Go and check on this land. Let us see what the Bible says. Numbers chapter 13. I'll start from verse 18. I may not start from the beginning. And see... Uh, verse 17, and Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan and said unto them, get you up this way southwards and go up into the mountains. Verse 18, and see the land, what is it? And the people that dwelleth therein, whether they be strong or they are weak, few or they are many. And he went on to say, and what the land is that they dwell in, whether it be a good or a bad land. And what cities they be that dwell in, wearing tents or strongholds. And what the land is, verse 20, whether it be fat or lean, they could be fat or even lean ground. Can you tell God, make my ground fat? Uh -huh. Whether there be wood therein or not, be 
Oh, uh, but be of good courage and bring of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the time of the first fruit. First ripe fruit of grapes. Now, these people were sent to go and spy the land. Meaning, they were companions. Hence, what I see and what you see should be the same report. True or not true. The same report, because we have been sent by the same person, we have been sent to the same land, we have been commissioned the same way, now the rest that remains is what you are going to see. And you will read the rest of the, rest of the story, I'll be picking just a few verses, but when he came to see, there was a man called Caleb. I want to talk a lot about two men. Because today I'm praying that the spirit that was in Caleb and Joshua may be the spirit upon everybody in the shelter. Can you say amen? I refuse the spirit of the ten spies. Hallelujah. Now Caleb, the meaning of the word number one, it means faithful. Number two, it means wholehearted. Number three, it means devoted to God. It means bold, brave, and of good courage. Meaning of the name Caleb. Joshua means Oshare. Oshare is another name of God is our salvation. God is our salvation. So these were people who already had prophetic names. May you, how many times do we have excuses? God, you have told me to do this. Ay, but it requires a big loan. Big, big capital. Am I talking to somebody who has been waiting for God for capital? Big capital. Lord, how can I do this without that kind of capital? The people who do this business are millionaires. Ooh. And you are telling me to go and do such a thing. How now? True or not true? If the Lord has told you to do it, do it. Glory to God. Can you say amen? Some of you have got a lot of gifts on the inside of you. You can do good in hair, you can do good in design, and the Lord has told you, Enda uchukue kaduka pale, anzisha kazi yako ya nyuele ama design. Unasema na sasa na hiyo rent. Unajua mungu watu hapa ufungi angwa, you even give God information. You know hapa maduka uf, na alafu kanjo. How many times will you stagnate because of excuses? The land wants to give you increase, but you have to change your report. Whose report shall we believe? Can we say, shall believe the report of the Lord? And they continued on. These people are not even stopping. The Amalekite, they've, told, they've talked of Anak. Now they've come to the Amalekite, dwell in this land of the south. The Hittite and the Jebusite. These were four of the most fearsome. But church, if God has told you to go, you will conquer, go. You will conquer. The reason why we don't enlarge is because we are afraid of failure. True or not true? If the fear of failure could be removed from you, where could you be today? Am I talking to somebody? The years that God spoke to you to start. If you had started, today you'd be now a mover and a shaker. And I'll say like what pastor told somebody. The best time to start was that time. The other best time to start is now. Can you say I will arise? You have a dream on the inside of you. Your dream is rotting. Who will live your dream? Who will become you? Nobody. God has put the greatness inside of you. But when you go to spy, the business world or the career, now you take rent. Uh, in fact, final answer, when God sent you, he had your provision. Amen. 
God will never send you somewhere without your provision. Some people are in a dry place because Mungu alimaliza na huko wakati wake ukatoka sasa amekupeleka the next level but bado uko pale. Wewe umekataa kutoka. The shadow and the presence of God moved. He is waiting for you in your canon. Unaangalia unasema Mungu sasa hapa nitafanyaje hii? Nita joinaje kwaya? How am I going to serve God? Mungu amekuambia enda ukalime. Unaanza kujiuliza sasa kulima. Na, kukika, na kukikosa maji. Kukikosa maji. One man in the Bible decided to plant while it was dry. He got a hundredfold. I have my scripture stand on in the book of Genesis chapter 2 that the well in the garden of Eden they never got water from rain it used to come from down the mist God can water your business God can water your career God can water your enlargement it does not require the human calendar Tunasema hii hii ni season ya dry season no 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 this is the land that God waters God can water you throughout. Glory to God. Now these people sent an evil report. There's a lot of murmuring. Evil reports have got a way of murmuring. There is a scripture I want us to read as we continue because this is very very key. Proverbs chapter 13. Is it verse 20? Proverbs 13:20. I hope that the companion of the wise is wise, but the companion of the fool <laughs> He that walks with the wise man shall be wise but a companion of the fool shall be destroyed. Number one, who are your companions? Ten men walked together. They all became fools. You'll find it in the Bible. The first people God killed were the ten spies. When God sent the plague, the Bible says they died in his presence. Yaani walikuwa na mzihi Mungu tusikufe, but in his presence God killed them. How many great dreams die because of companionship? And I will repeat this. Sometimes your companions have been your worst enemies. Because you are a companion of a fool. The Bible says the compad he that walks with the wise shall be wise. In actual fact, it does not tell us whether he was wise or not wise. But the fact that you walk with the wise somehow there is a grace for wisdom. I would rather be like Caleb and Joshua though are only two companion of wisdom. People who will tell you yes we are a well able. Hallelujah. Nine a hundred this out okay 12 two out of 12% is what? What percentage? We can say like 85% of 90% of his team actually it is something that that Moses sent they were actually companions of fools Have you ever given your dream to somebody and they told you how impossible it is Why they look at the economy they look at you. number one they start with your status you yourself Where where and that's how they talk Where where Bali ulizaliwa Mamako wanaangalia familia uko what happens they give you a report hiyo biashara iko poa lakini sio yako tunataka kununua matatu sasa wewe unajua na polisi wangapi wewe ai umejiona hapo kweli hata hiyo ndo ya kununua and you know they all speak a similar way hiyo ndo ya kununua Ai, um, umeomba kweli? Umeomba? Umeomba? Mungu amekuambia nini? Can you flee from them? Because their destruction is sure. I want to give my dream to somebody who I can share with and they tell me you are well able. You are well able. You can do this thing. Why not by power not by might but by his spirit the earth will only yield for you increase when you begin to walk by faith Hallelujah Not when you walk by sight 
Sight will not even help you. Glory to God. Now look at this. Then Caleb verse 30 and Caleb still the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and possess it for we are well able to overcome it. These two so very big walls, they can't manage the ten. These two said, we are well able. I told you sometime, God will never give you a task that is your size. Here's what we have The great dreams are bigger than you. And I want to speak to the dream on the inside of somebody today. You are well able. Can you say amen? You are well able. Okay, if you don't believe in yourself, for the sake of God, say an amen. You are well able. You tried and you failed because you are walking with the ten spies. But as one of the Caleb's and Joshua's, I want to tell you that greatness in you, you will make it in Jesus' name. You will see it, you will conquer, you are going to become that great person in Jesus' name. You be a shara ni raisi kwako. Nana bado na shindo ni raisi. Sama a man. Uli jaribu ka trip. Niko sabu ya the ten spies. Uli kuwa kwa ile. The companion of the fool shall be destroyed. But today we are changing over. We are taking companionship with Jehovah. He is going to be your partner from today. You can tell him, Papa, I see it. And Papa, I will do it. You can build your own house. Can you say amen? Amen. You can own a piece of land. Say, I'm well able. You can keep chicken and flourish. You can import. You are, by the way, ume kukuo kinunua kuchoka China, unazingoja, zinakuja kwa maduka unauza. Now you can be that importer from outside the country. Hi, unashindwa sasa mimi ni the import. That's the amen can tell me. Let me report, repeat. You know the Bible says, them that do business in great waters. In the book of Psalms, they see the wonders of the Lord. Do you want to see the wonders of the Lord? That's why I'm saying you are going to be a mega importer. It is about your brain. I will show you. Listen to this. Let's continue. Today I'm, I'm doing mainly on the book of Numbers. Then we read a few scriptures else and, and pray. And Caleb still the people, hey, verse 31. But the man that went up with him said, you see now him, he has said we can do it very well. And the man that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against these people. One has said you are well able. Ha kumi wana semai. We be not able to go against these men. Now are you telling me I'm able to to build my own flat? Eh, pastor na juu ata kaunti angu ni noti. It is not me. It is the voice of Jehovah. When Jehovah tells you you will do it, start to believe it and begin to take a step of faith. Now, no wonder these people had to die before God. Higher, the man said, uh-huh, we be not above verse 32. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched into the children of Israel, saying, the land through which we have gone to search it, it is a land that eats up its inhabitants thereof. At he, it eats up its inhabitants. Now, can you see excuses? How many times are you delayed because of excuse? Naskiza. They have seen a lot of inhabitants. They are Malekites, the Jebusites. But then, yani, me, I don't understand them. This one I couldn't understand. Listen to the excuse. At that land, it eats its own inhabitants. But it is already full of inhabitants. And if God gives you your land, haita kukula, usiseme hii biashara inameza kila mtu. Nani alikuambia itakumeza? Am I talking to somebody? 
Hapo najua hata mimi nikianza nilisikia ilimeza so and so hata mimi itanimeza nani alikwambia itakumeza That lunch will not swallow you in Jesus name Sasa anasema unajua now they are giving the worst of the reports Hata tukienda tuhamie huko Musa sisi wote itatumaliza that land swallows meanwhile it was full flowing with milk and honey and who alisema full of grapes church of god i want us to move from our comfort zone we have been comfortable for too long i want us to move from that place of comfort and begin to believe god that god i will attempt the idea that you gave me I will try out that idea. Watu watakwambia ina meza wengine wachana na hawa. Those are the ten spies. Whoever tells you it is not workable is a companion of the ten spies. Hallelujah. Nani ashaambiwa na mtu hiyo hautafaulu? Enaona mikono. Sasa hiyo umeambiwa haitafaulu. Can you say I will make it? Last week but one I read you a list of believers who are the movers and shakers up to today. They started companies that are movers and shakers to today. I read you a whole list Colgate, Bata and I told you how they began. Why shouldn't your name be among those named Dennis? Are you saying you are too young? Young people You are not too young. You are not too old. Caleb was 40 years. But the, in the book of Joshua, at the age of 85, he went to Joshua. He told Joshua, "You know what? I am stronger now than I was at 40. Give me now my mountain." He had been promised a mountain. "Give me now my mountain." And that is where all these Jebusites were. He went fort conquered and received his own mountain. Mountains you come on Mount Kenya? No, it is a city. Lake Kampala is a mountain. It's built up on a mountain. Places of rivers and waters and good places of business. Church of God, you can only get when you begin to pray for the spirit of boldness. Amen. Now listen to this. And they brought up the evil report. Aha. Uh-huh. It eats up his inhabitants and all the people that you saw in it are men of great stature. Huh? And there we saw the giants. Yaani unaangalia mtu unaona yeye ni giant? Wacha tuone the sons of Anak which come of the giants and you know in our own sight. Listen, this sentence changed everything in my life many years ago. We were in our own sight as grasshopper. Hakuna mtu amemwambia anakaa kama grasshopper. Ni wewe mwenyewe unajiona kama grasshopper. Biblia inaendelea kusema and so were we in their sight. How do you see yourself? That is how people see you. How you see yourself is how people see you. You determine how people will see you. The difference between a person who is given a contract a business or a job or a person who attracts clients is how they see themselves you need to wake up and see yourself favored of the lord you need to wake up and see yourself enlarged you need to wake up and see yourself glorified you need to wake up and see yourself rich siku sema unajua those ones were like giants mimi ni kama grasshopper who said so in my own eyes and so were we in their sight who even told them at waliona kama grasshopper do you see what the devil does to our minds when we begin to think ourselves small can you begin to see yourself big as god sees you when god redeemed you with the blood of jesus he set you up above far above wengine mnaona wachawi huko kuko na wachawi wabaya hata mimi naona kama atanikula ha na malizanga watu si wewe ujione kama mchawi kila ati nikifika hapo wachawi watatoroka how you see yourself is the way they will take you 
nikifungua duka clients wataja fungua duka na hiyo faith mimi nikiendea nguo lazima zote zitauzwa cuz how you see yourself don't see yourself as a grasshopper how you see yourself is how people see you ati mimi hata naona mimi mimi naona hata hapa sijui kama nitafaulu how tafaulu anza kusema i am immovable are we together and that's why the word of god has to be in your mouth i am immovable i am not like the others when the others are saying there is a falling down i shall say there is a rising up the difference between a successful believer and a believer who struggles is the mindset who is your companion are you a companion of the 10 spies or of the two one thing you are going to do you are going to delete the names of those whom you send for every information unajua mimi naenda kule ku spy haya unawaambia unaenda ku spy unarudi ishamezwa kwanza nakuuliza hii siku hizi kweli nafaulu glory to god amen so what am i saying later you on you find in the bible that when it came verse, i want us to read chapter 14 and verse 8 and 9 so that now we move on and we can pray Yes verse 8 7 and they spoke unto the company of the children of Israel saying the land which you pass through to search is exceeding good land if the lord delights in us then he will bring us into this land and give it to us the land which flows with milk and honey only rebel not ye against the lord neither fear ye the people of the land for they are bread for us and their defense is departed from them and the lord is with us fear them not them waliona kana huni mkate kale ben joshua walisema ah mnaita vitu kubwa for them they are bread for us hallelujah the, their wealth is laid up for the righteous The wealth of these gentiles is laid up for the righteous. They are bread for us. Only do not rebel against the Lord. For that the, actually this the tent pies so very big walls. For them they saw God who had already destroyed their defense. How do you see yourself? That is my question today. How do you see yourself? Who are your companions? Are they the ones who tell you that you are not well able? They are big walls. We are small in their eyes and brings you evil reports. Can we say God forbid? I want us to go to something that I want us now today to pray about. Suddenly the children of Israel began to do what a lot of people here the Lord told me you need to repent for. they began to murmur in their heart and they told moses sisi tunataka kutafuta kiongozi mwingine aturudishe egypt this land we have believed the report of the ten spies na mungu akawaambia i'm killing all of you all and he did that you know in fact he wanted to blot them in a day Moses pleaded akambia Mungu ali intercede if you blot them in a day they will say our god was not able to deliver akasema this generation ishe but their children and Joshua and Caleb had it preserve he sent a plague and killed the generation why was god angry and this is a message that i have for the shelter today chapter 14 I want us to read this because this is where I want us to pray. How long shall I hear this evil congregation? Okay, you're not an evil congregation, you're holy glory to God. That is not yours, but this is individuals murmur against me. I've heard the murmurings of the children of Israel which they murmur against me. Say unto them as truly as I live says the Lord, as you have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. This is what Mama Ring did. 
You have tried something, it has failed, and your heart is full of murmuring against God. Am I talking to somebody? Umeketi umeuliza Mungu, "Eh, inaonekana ni mimi? Ah, inakaa kama mimi sitawahi breakthrough." Inakaa Jen. Uamsha Jen kama huo kimuamsha every Sunday. She sleeps every Sunday. So inakaa ni kama mimi, inakaa ni kama kwetu. Am I talking to somebody? Inakaa familia zingine hata Mungu ukazibariki uko wakumbuka. Lakini baba hata mimi nikianzisha kitu ni kama inakuwa na struggle. This is a message God sent me today. And the Bible says whatever you have said, have you put it up there? Numbers chapter 14 verse uh-huh. Verse 27 and 28. Whenever you mama, the Bible says, whatever you have murmured against me, it has come straight to my ears. And today God spoke to me. Tell my people to repent from the spirit of murmuring. You may think nobody hears. Eh, hata kunaona venye maisha iko. You simply listen to the ten spies. You have not taken charge of your life by faith. But now suddenly it has been murmuring and complaining within your heart. Hata hii pesa itatosha. Hata Mungu naona watoto wangu hii haitawasaidia. Hata Mungu naona am I talking to somebody? This is what the Bible says. Your carcasses shall fall in the wilderness. Say God forbid. And all that were numbered of you according to your whole number from 20 years old and upwards which murmured against me. Two things happen when the spirit of murmuring is inside a person. Number one, there is the death of the work of your hands. God will not kill you. And we pray you don't die. And I declare you'll not die. But the work of your hands begins to die. Your favor begins to die because surely there is death that comes from the Lord. Your prayer life begins to die. Number two, in the wilderness when the children of Israel murmured, God released serpents. Unasema na teswa na mapepo. How many times have you murmured before the Lord? You don't want to take your step, you don't want to take faith into your own hands. Eh hey, Mungu kama isingekuwa nimezaliwa hivi, Mungu kama ningekuwa nimesoma, Mungu kama ungekuwa umeniweka kwa hii familia, Mungu hata tazama nafanya kazi mingi lakini unanipatia kidogo. But do you understand according to Psalms 103 how many people how blessed you are to have food in your stomach? The spirit of gratitude, the moment you remove the spirit of gratitude, then in enters the spirit of murmuring and complaint. Murmuring and complaint will delay your destiny. The children of Israel were delayed for another 40 years in the wilderness. Caleb was 40, conquered the mountain at 85, actually 45 years. Before they could get to their true inheritance. Eh, huyu bibi ulinipatia, huyu bibi sumbua. Who chose her? Huyu mamangu anielewi, babangu anielewi. Let us see Psalms 103. Because today I want us to pray. Bless the Lord oh my soul and all that within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits. How many times have we murmured? We murmur because we forget his benefits. And today it is heavy in my spirit that before anything else can happen for God to establish us in your own land, in your own possession, in your own greatness so that your dreams can come to pass, we've got to repent of the spirit of murmuring. We've got to repent of the spirit of fear. We've got to repent of unbelief. The ten spies did not believe the word of the Lord, but two people believed the word of the Lord. 
Many times we want to believe what the media has to say, social media has to say, but you have not gone before God and asked him, God, what do you want of me? Have you asked the Lord? Then if he has told you, why don't you believe the report of the Lord? Why are you digging your own wells? Why are you getting a plan B? Ati mungu isi potendeka. Si yata naeza kajaribu hii. It annoys the Lord. Today I want us to stand and begin by repenting. I want us to stand and begin by repenting. If you're here and you're saying, me, I've never murmured or complained before God. You know I'm gone. Kama uko hapo unasema, me, sijawai ne complain, takupatia microphone, sasa utuombe. Nani uyo? And I said, I've never murmured against God. I've never complained. You know I'm gone or two. Please, if you're there, I'll give you the microphone. Why? Because each one of us needs to go before God and repent. Because God spoke to me, this is what has hindered the growth of the people. Spirit of murmuring and complaining. And the Bible says, whatever you have said, I have heard it in my ears. Can we go before God like Moses did and tell God, Father, I've come to repent. Repent to yourself. Repent. Kama utapiga magoti, kama ni nini, hapa tuweke wimbo nyuma. Sijuu kwa nini meketu watu wa nyuma, mame ni pia nyinyi. Na hiyo kitu yu na mtu moja. Mkienda hapo tu muna kanga hapo mabosu. Ikae tu na mtu moja. Haya. I want you to put music. I want us to go before God. I want us to repent. Just go before the Lord. Tell God, I'm sorry for murmuring. My heart has murmured. You have served God, but at times in that service there is murmuring. Mi mungu na choka. Ata hakuna mtu ananiona we mwenye ote nafanya. God, I'm tired. I want to hear people repenting. I want to hear people repenting. I want to hear people repenting because as much as we pray for favor, unless we repent because of murmuring, my father, we come before you, Jehovah. Yes, put God's some music. Word. Thank you. Makore baba baba ria kanta. Natakuskia watu akitubu mbele ya Mungu. Mwambie Jehovah have murmured. I have complained. My heart has not been at peace. Makore bororo bakanta ria bororoka. Just go before the Lord. Tell God whatever I have murmured and complained about. I come before you Jehovah. Makore bororo baba baba ria kanta. I want somebody to repent. I want somebody to tell God I'm sorry. A new beginning today. Father, we repent because of murmuring. Father, we repent in your before your prayer.